In this video, I'll go over how to make your Valorant go from this to this. Now, there's a million programs you can use to change your digital vibrance, so you might say to yourself, But Boney, what if I don't have an NVIDIA graphics card? Well, don't you worry, little bro. I'm gonna go over every single method to make sure that you get bright colors. The four methods that work for everyone is gonna be NVIDIA Control Panel, Vibrance UI, Racer Cortex, and AMD Control Panel. One of these are gonna work, so don't you guys worry, okay? It's gonna be fine. Now, big question, should you even use Digital Vibrance? Does it help at all? Well, this depends on yourself. Some people distinguish more vibrant colors easier than others, while others like to be depressed and see grayscale type colors, making the vibrance something that can help your gameplay. Now, how do you change your vibrance? Well, for NVIDIA users, go to your desktop, then right-click your desktop, show more options, and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Once you're in NVIDIA Control Panel, I want you to go to Manage 3D Settings and enable image scaling and turn it to around 20 to 50%, depending on how much you want. This is just to boost your FPS a little bit. It's not about colors, but you're welcome. I got you. Now, once you're finished with image scaling, I want you to go to adjust desktop color settings. Once you're here, I want you to turn your brightness anywhere from 55 to 65%, depending on how bright you're rolling your image. I like mine at 55, you can do 65 if you want to. Now, I want you to keep contrast at the same and gamma also at the same. You don't want to ruin your image. Gamma is not worth it. Contrast might be worth checking into but i recommend not going with it then for the good stuff for digital vibrance i found that 88 percent is the magical number this is where things look very nice while not getting too too crazy so i would leave it at around 88 percent as for you keep this a zero percent otherwise you will mess with every single color in your screen so it's not worth it to get vibrance ui go to vibranceui.com and choose either download for desktop or download for laptop this works for both amd and nvidia so don't you worry what's cool with vibrance ui is that instead of changing your desktop colors this only changes your in-game colors now after you've downloaded it for desktop i want you to open the zip file then i want you to open the application file and click run now once you're in the program i want you to click add manually and then i want you to find your valorant folder once you found your valorant folder click on live shooter game binaries win 64 and then i want you to scroll until you find valorant win 64 shipping now click that and once it's in your vibrance ui i want you to double click it and choose in-game vibrance level at around 88 percent it's kind of similar to nvidia control panel once you've done that, it should be vibrant in game. I would also recommend turning on auto start vibrance UI because then you don't have to reopen it every time you start your PC. But some of you may also ask, is it bannable? Or a friend of mine got banned for a year using it. Well, listen, your friend is probably brain dead and cheating because digital vibrance is not bannable. So don't spam the comments with, is it bannable? It's not okay, don't worry fine however something to note vibrance gui and razor cortex are third-party programs so be a little careful with those riot support has said it isn't bannable but better safe than sorry just use nvidia control panel or amd now for racer cortex i want you to go to racer.com slash cortex click download now once you've downloaded it i want you to open the installer file and let it install on your pc once you're in racer gaming software i want you to click only on racer cortex and click install now click get started. Now, once you're in Racer Cortex, I want you to click on Game Booster. Then I want you to go to Booster Prime. Then I want you to find your game, Valorant, click on Valorant and click make adjustments. Once you're in here, I want you to click make adjustments here. Keep your hue at the same, brightness at the same, contrast at the same as well and only change your digital vibrance. However, I wouldn't recommend going too crazy on this. I would recommend around anywhere from 20 to around 35%. Once that's done, click save and then you're good to go. Now, for you AMD users, go to AMD software, then go to the gaming tab, then go to global graphics, and then enable custom color and turn your saturation up to what you want. I like around 200% because I am crazy, but this is all up to you. Change it to however much you want to. Now, before the video ends, every monitor's panel is different, so tweak the settings so that you find something that you actually enjoy and feel comfortable hitting headshots with. Hopefully, this video helped you, and if it did, make sure to subscribe or else I will find you. I am a GeoGuessr god. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Have a nice day.